Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. It's just gone half past eight on Monday morning. I'm on my way to Blackburn. I've got about three hours still to go. I'm just leaving Warwick Services. Booked in at the delivery site at 12 o'clock, so I best get cracking. Just leaving Lim Truck Stop. I had to stop for half an hour break. We had a 15 minutes break down at Warwick Services on the way up this morning. Still got an hour to go. According to the sat nav, I'm gonna be about 20 minutes late. So hopefully that doesn't cause an issue. But yeah, I had a little bit of traffic getting past Birmingham this morning, as you'd expect. But yeah, because I've had to have that break as well. It's caused me to lose a little bit more time than I ideally wanted. Uh, not sure exactly where I'm going after the delivery. I have been sent over the address details for my collection. I think I'm heading back towards the south. I know the delivery is for Basingstoke for tomorrow morning, so I best check that out really. Nearly at the delivery site, only a mile or so to go. Not been here before, so hopefully it's easy to find. Just concentrate whilst I try and get out onto this roundabout. Watch that side, yeah. So yeah, hopefully this place is easy to find. It's also not in Blackburn as well. Uh, I'm in a place called Nelson, which is the other side of Burnley. So yeah, it's taken a little bit longer to get up here than I thought it was going to, which is all right. Got to go right at this next roundabout coming up. That nav is taking me to the uh, the street, so hopefully it's obvious where it is. Are you coming round? You've also got no lights on or indicator. So right, the car behind you's got no lights on either. This is where I'm coming in at the wrong end of the road. I should have come in at another end. wants me to turn before the garage but I don't think that's what I actually want to do. What's this sign say? Ah, that's where I wanted to go. That's really helpful. Hopefully I can turn around at this mini roundabout. It was before the petrol station that it wanted me to turn around. This could be fun. All right, where's that junction gone? I think 
the sat nav's confused because it does say it's a seven and a half ton weight limit, but it is where I've got to go. bit of a problem. How do I get around this then? Just wait here a minute. width limits down road where industrial estates are. I can see why the seven and a half ton weight limit was there as well, but hopefully I can get into here and turn around. Close. solve a lot of my problems. I'm not going to give you the best for you, but nothing coming on my left. So then need to do is work out not the way. Right, let's wait here a minute and work it out. Right, I think I found a way. Now I've just got to get out of here. The trouble is, is sometimes the places where we go are down places that have got width limits and weight limits. I know I'm going to get a load of comments going, oh, you should have read the signs and all of that sort of stuff. But just the other side of the uh, petrol station, the before um, the petrol station on the way back, there was an uh, industrial estate with loads of lorries parked there, so I wrongly assumed that I could make it in there. So, down this way. Left at this little roundabout. Is that going to be correct? I don't know now. Let's go to the big roundabout because at least then the sat nav will sort itself out from the big roundabout. Yep. 
rather than trying to squeeze down that lane, we'll go down this way instead. Ah, a sign for the industrial estate. Should have spotted that earlier. Right. Off to Middlewich now. Just need to get turned around in here and out. Looks like there's plenty of ring. Get that up. Down to here. Turn. Just about. Hour and 25 minutes down to Middlewich. Paperwork says I've got to be down there for four o'clock. ETA is 10 to three, so I will stop for a break on the way down, but I'll see if I can get in there a little bit earlier and get tipped. Ah, someone coming in. Wait for them. <laughs> Well, yesterday afternoon was a little bit rubbish. Had to wait three and a half hours nearly to be loaded at the collection address. Yeah, so it didn't make it down as far as I wanted to. Only made it down as far as Stafford Services last night. So still got two and a half, two hours, 45 minutes driving to go in the morning. Not gonna make it on time for the eight o'clock booking spoke to the boss and she's arranged for it to be there for 10 o'clock so I'm going to be there for 10 o'clock instead which is fine and then once I've delivered there it's straight up to Bista for a collection to go back to the yard. Almost at the delivery site now, running a little bit late due there, 10 past 10. I'm supposed to be there for 10 o'clock. A um, little bit of traffic on the A34, rush hour time as you'd expect, so yeah, can't really be helped. I'm actually going to a place where I went for a job interview when I first passed my uh, class two license, my cat C license. I didn't take the job because yeah, you were going to spend more time doing non-lorry driving things than doing lorry driving. So I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So yeah, I didn't didn't take the job. Let's get around this roundabout. Ah, oh, traffic lights are red. Helpful. Traffic lights on the roundabout, always annoying. So it's left in here, and then, I can't actually remember. Oh yeah, it's just after the b and Just need to find where the goods in office is. I'm also hoping as well they're going to do this on a bay rather than through the curtains because I don't have to undo the curtains again. Sat nav programmed for the yard. 
I know where I'm going, but I just want to have an ETA for when I get back. Hour and, hour and a half from here, so just after four o'clock. Did the delivery down in Basingstoke. I was there for over an hour because the guy decided that he was gonna go and have his lunch rather than unload me, which was a little bit annoying, but it is what it was. Just wish he'd told me, because then I could have gone and got something to eat. Went into Cheveley Services and got myself some sausage rolls from the Greggs and some yum yums, because why not? And yeah, got up to the delivery site. Now it's just back to the yard with this and then find out what it is that I am doing. Just watching myself through this gate onto this lane. Yeah, find out exactly what it is that I'm doing tomorrow. So, got back to the yard and I need to make some space. So, I'm just going to turn this trailer around up here, got a reverse in that gap onto the right and I'm going to put it in front of those skelly trailers. So let's get over here. Full length skelly, it's much easier to do than reverse it. Reverse it, re shrink it, reduce it in size. Loads of room. What it means when I get my uh, curtain side of trailer in a minute, I'll be able to come down and park in front of these so I'm ready to go straight out the gate in the morning. About there will do. Let's go shrink the trailer. finish dropping the trailer. All right, got my curtain side of trailer. Now I've got to go park it up in front of those skellies. And that is me done for the day. So I'm going to end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, me getting in a little bit of bother with the seven foot width limit. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things.